Are you prepared for an emergency? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Once upon a time, Satan called the emissaries of hell to discuss which one of them should go to earth to help men and women ruin their own souls. One demon volunteered, I will go. And Satan said, If I send you, what will you tell the children of men? He said, I will tell the children of men that there is no heaven. To which Satan replied, They will not believe you, for there is a bit of heaven in every human heart. In the end, everyone knows that right and good must have the victory. You may not go. Then another came forward, darker and fouler than the first. Satan said, If I send you, what will you tell the children of men? To which the demon replied, I will tell them there is no hell. Satan looked at him and said, Oh no, they will not believe you, for in every human heart there's a thing called conscience, an inner voice which testifies to the truth that not only will good be triumphant, but that evil will be defeated. You may not go. Then one last demon came forward from the darkest place of all. Satan said to him, And if I send you, what will you say to help men and women destroy their own souls? That demon replied, I will tell them there is no hurry. And Satan said, Go. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus' parable is about the master of a household putting on an apron and serving his slaves, those who have been faithfully serving him, around the table, waiting on them while they dine. The parable of the wise and foolish virgins in Matthew's Gospel comes to mind too. We must be prepared with our belts on and our lamps lighted, for we never know if an unexpected situation comes to rob us of our joy and contentment. On July 16, 1990, at about 4.30 p.m., an intensity 7.7 earthquake hit Luzon, Philippines, creating havoc on the huge island. Particularly hard hit were Baguio City, Cabanatuan City, and Dagupan City. Many buildings were toppled, the biggest of which was the Hyatt Terraces Hotel in Baguio. In Cabanatuan, Florencio Agapita and Robin Garcia were in class when the killer quake hit and wrecked the six-story building of the Christian College of the Philippines. Robin cleared a passage through debris, enabling three fellow students to escape from the collapsed building. Florencio led 45 classmates out to safety. Robin was hit by falling debris in the abdomen and left thigh and died of his injuries on the same day at Nueva Ecija Provincial Hospital. Florencio got his legs pinned by a falling beam and died 16 days after his legs were amputated at Subic Bay Naval Base. Some 29 people died at the school. On August 30, 1990, Anastasia Agapita and Marina Garcia received the gold medals of honor posthumously conferred on their sons, Scouts Florencio and Robin, at a special ceremony at the Boy Scouts of the Philippines National Headquarters. There is no denying that death will eventually catch up with us. We just don't know when. We tend to ignore it in the present, perhaps because in the last so many decades, we have forgotten how soon it can come. Perhaps it is because life expectancies have risen from an average of 45 years in 1900 to 73 years today. Let us examine how we have lived our lives, our faith. If we have served the Lord well, our heroic acts of faith will not go unnoticed. Be dressed for action, says a Bible translation of today's passage, and blessed are those who are ready and alert. Jesus constantly speaks of His coming as a time of celebration, not of fear and sadness. We only need to be prepared so that we do not hesitate to open the door when He knocks. We may be too engrossed with watching too many Netflix movies, nay, our own life story of fun and frolic, that when the tremors of life start to shake the foundation of our lives, we scamper and scatter, unprepared to meet our untimely demise. The Boy Scouts have a motto that may be wise for us to follow. Be prepared. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, make me vigilant so that I will always recognize you in my daily encounters. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.